Art is one of the most beautiful expressions of life. It is an expression of how we feel and our experiences. This exhibit called Knowing, the artist says that she approaches this in the context of engagement of space. With 59 pieces in this exhibition, they're all titled The Multiverse. Welcome to this episode of Your Guide on Ghana. Today I am at the Nabuki Foundation and I'm so excited to be here. I pulled up and I was like, wow, this isn't the same place. The last time I was here was about two years ago. They were just about to close to do renovations and I haven't been here since. And lo and behold, here I am and there's a completely new building that is here. And it's got more of a modern, contemporary feel to it. I love it. So we're gonna come and check out what exhibit is happening today at Nabuki Foundation. Let's go inside. This is an interesting I just want to read this. Many of my drawings inform our behavior of navigation. The space of navigation is full of memory. It's full of things that we have absorbed from our external impacts in general. The drawings speak to a dark space, a generative space, a poetic space. It's very interesting. And this is the costume that the artist wore when she was doing the performance art that we see in the video where she is on the sand and just moving it around. I wish the artist was here today so that we can talk to her and really hear her perspective of what she is doing here. something but your head may think differently or your head may think something your heart may feel differently so in these arts she has interactive components which are the stamps here where as you see them you become the mediate you determine what it is to you you interact with whatever she stamped on it and you become the mediate your, your imagination becomes what the art is to you and on this side are the stamps where she tells you to tell your own story mm -hmm. out of um, out of the stamps she has here. These are the um, interactive components she used immediately. So you also get two pieces of paper, tell the same kind of story on the two. Okay. Keep one and then let her have one. Okay. By so doing, you get to carry your story around and she also carries your story around interacting with your components and then um, in, in using her imagination and her interaction with those components to make something out of it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's okay. Have you created one too? Yes. We all don't know the meanings of them. But then, when you make stories out of this, just as she said, the Yoruba culture says, your heart says something, your head does not know it. You don't know what this means, but you feel like using this. And it tells a whole different story. Okay, yeah. okay, all right. Choose stamp to create my own story. I like this one. I like this star. I also like this. It looks almost like something sweeping. So let me put it into the ink. Each one into the ink. We're supposed to make two of them, one for yourself and one for the artist. Oh, she's upside down. That was not intentional. Oh, so you know what? I'll do this. And then this here. And I've created my story. So I keep one for myself and Put one here for the artist. That's my story. And by coming through, or by coming out this is, then you are letting go of everything that you know, everything that is in your space, to let her space 
NGOs. So you just come up here, you come to us with us, do that mention. Okay. Yeah. You know, it makes me think about when people move into a new place and they do prayers and different yes. things and they feel they're speaking exactly. and the energy like out. Exactly, like the ritualistic um, form of ceremony kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. And so this is leading to the other work that's on this yes, side here. Yes. I see all of these pieces here. What's the meaning of these pieces? This part of the art is called uh, Under the Shadow. Under the Shadow. Yes. And this signifies proper books. You know, as kids, yeah. we had those books you just open, yeah. something comes up. You don't know there's something on the next page. You don't know that as you open, something else is going to come out. You are just reading. It's like you are on a quest or something. So this is where dimension leads us to. As you let go of everything that you know, mm -hmm. you are on a quest to know what Odun knows. Okay. To know what Odun has done. Okay. So this space is just under the shadow where you don't know what you are going to see, okay. but you are coming in and there are things that are going to pop up to you. You are going to go to the bed, you are going to see things. That's just what this space is. Okay. Yeah. Alright. And so all of the Drawings yeah, on the wall are also part of Under the Shadow. Yes. This particular art is Odun's reaction to um, an experiment made by scientists called Paul. And in this experiment, the uh, scientists sought to find out, for example, why people are short, why people are tall. Hey, I'm, I'm tall and you're short, you'll be <laughs> why, <are> you, <laughs> why are you dark? Why are you white? Why are you deformed? So, okay. so, he made a lot of images yes. by um, looking into people's blood. So these were this was a time when people were doing all sorts of weird experiments of black people. And this white scientist used black formed black people to do this experiment and then definitely against their will, using their blood, and then he made a lot of um, drawings out of them. So Odu coming across this experiment and the drawings, she felt like it was a bit absurd for a person to want to find out something that science can't find. Mm -hmm. So to the scientists, he thought that if you are short and I'm tall, then it means that your blood is different. You are a different kind of blood. That's what that science is Yes, and he sought to use science to find out and he used blood. But at the end of this um, experiment, he found that if you are black type O and I'm black type O, and you are white and I'm black, our blood is the same, there's no difference. So although coming across this thought, it was very upset or very stupid to do that. And she just, this is her reaction to the whole thing. Okay. How she felt about the whole thing. This is just her reaction. Okay. And this is part of a number of what she calls eating Paul. Because she kind of took in what Paul Paul did or what Paul wrote and she threw it in this way as her reaction. Okay. First walked in, I noticed that the way the images were drawn, I actually thought about the human body. The first thing I thought was it looks like intestines or something. And then there was one image that the looked like a cell with spikes on it that actually mm -hmm. reminded me of the way that the, the COVID-19 <laughs> virus <laughs> being drawn looks like. But so it's interesting that you shared all of this information. What are your thoughts on this exhibition? I think it's, I like the fact that it's very interactive. And as we go forward, this part of it shows the very main and basis of Odun's works, where it has to deal with space. To Odun, there's no empty space. When I say space, you think empty, you think void, you think dark. But Odun does not see space like that. And she feels like everybody has and every space is regenerated. Something is coming out of every space. And this is her space. And this is you in her space. It shows that space is not dark. And something can always come out of it. That's what persuades me about the works, actually. The dark space just means that space is regenerated. Mm -hmm. Something is coming out of every dark space. So in, in multiverse, these are reactions to um, experiences she has had. These are reactions to um, imaginations. She explains this in that, um, for example, when you close your eyes, the space is black. Space yes, is black. but then you see images. You do. Yeah, and then some of these works she got, or um, some of these works generate from those images that that 
that place that belongs to you. Yeah. When you close your eyes, the things you see, you know it. So yeah. that's what she calls the more sickness. Yeah. More yeah. 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 Very, very interesting. Because it's true, you close your eyes and it's dark, but our mind generates images for our imagination. And our dreams even too, when you sleep, your, your eyes are closed, it's dark, but you still see images. I have read stories and seen interviews with people who are blind, people who used to be able to see, but then now they're blind, who've talked about that they can see images when they're, when, even though they're blind, they can't physically see, but in their mind, they see old images of what they used to be able to see. The mind is a powerful, powerful tool. The Nobuki Foundation is located in East Lake on Accra and I just love the open space of this location, the green, the oneness with nature and I love this installation here that was just a replica of cowrie shells. We finished going through the exhibition, you can come and check out the store. There are artworks here available for you to purchase. And there's some really creative talent here. There is one in particular that's really standing out to me. Flip-flops turned into art, or in Ghana, they would call them chalawote. Turned into art is absolutely brilliant. Look at this. You can see all of the colorful pieces working together to create this masterpiece of art. And when you get closer, you see that it's actually the bottom of somebody's old flip-flops. Or chalawate, as I said, they say in Ghana. It's pretty cool. Repurposing something that would be garbage. So there's also a library here that you can come and check out. You can't take the books out though. Uh, you have to sit here and read the books. There is a variety of different options. They have young adult books. There's African travel books. There's some historical books. There's fictional books. So there's all different types of books in here that you can check out. I do see that a lot of them are older books, so I'm sure that they would be open to taking donations if you have anything that you want to give to the Nabuki Foundation so that they can have some up-to-date reading in here, but there are some classics. Of course, classics never get old. And um, yeah, so this is one spot you can come, sit, have a reading, check out the books, learn some history here at the Nabuki Foundation. After you've gone through the exhibit, maybe you've done some shopping in the store, check out the library, what is this piece of history? Celebration of the centenary of the life of the great African leader and first president of Ghana, Kwame Nkrumah. With exciting opportunities to reflect. Thanks for watching this episode of Your Guide on Ghana. I hope that you enjoyed my tour through the Nabuki Foundation and the exhibition that's happening here right now. You can always visit their website if you want more information about future and upcoming exhibitions as well as events, or if you want to buy something, or if you want to make a donation. So check out the information will be in the description box below, so that you can contact them directly. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you think other people would like it, share the video and don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.